has to be because he knows Sinatra. This city is exciting. Dangerous. Troubled. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! <laughs> It's Jay! No time for small talk, we're late. Hey, hold the elevator! Heavy! I think Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. Let's go to work! Head is brought to you by Acura, who invites you to test drive the new 1994 Acura Integra. After test drive. What's the matter with you? You don't want to go out anymore? I've been busy. Yeah, I know what the problem is. You're still not over Elizabeth. Blech. Jay, I am over Elizabeth. There, you see? You see? That girl was all over you. You didn't do anything. She just smiled at me, Jay. Herman, if a woman smiles at you, she wants you. If she bumps into you, she wants you. If she says, do you know what time it is, she might as well be saying, take me right here. Herman, do you know what time it is? <laughs> take him, Herman. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Bracken. I'm glad you're here. I have an announcement. Louise and I are getting married. What? Just joking. I realized I needed to lighten up. Well, I'm glad it lightened you up. Because <laughs> it nearly killed me. The real announcement is Waterton Publishing has just purchased a singles magazine whose largest advertiser is a cruise line. They are offering to all Waterton employees a free cruise to the Bahamas. A free trip? I don't buy it. Say, what's a scam, Bracken? <laughs> Sorry, it's James Cagney week on TNT. It's a legitimate offer. I'll leave the sign-up sheet with Hetty. How about you, Mr. Bracken? Are you going on the cruise? Oh, I hardly think that would be appropriate. Come on, Mr. Bracken, it's a singles cruise. I bet there'd be people on that boat as desperate as you are. You really think so? It's a long shot, but it's possible. Come on, Mr. Bracken, I'll go if you'll go. All right, Louise, let's do it. Follow their lead, Herm. Come on, this is exactly what you need. He's right, Herman. I think it'll help you forget about Elizabeth. I don't need a cruise to forget about Elizabeth. I'm over her. <laughs> What's wrong? I miss her, I don't know what to do. I miss her, I don't know what to do. You can act like a man. <laughs> but we're not over her. You're forgetting that all we ever did was fight with this woman. You wanted her too. She's a brilliant writer, of course I wanted her. Till she drove us crazy, now it's time to move on. Let me talk to her. Got the perfect solution. We go on this cruise and we pop some other chick. <laughs> Some other chick. I want to pop Elizabeth. Look, it is not about popping anyone. It's a cruise. We'll relax, get some sun, get caught up on our reading. Okay, Jay, I'll go. Herman, you're doing the right thing. Thank you, Louise. I think I'm going to have a good time. It's time. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is very nice, but it's over with Elizabeth. We're through with Elizabeth. I bet you haven't even thought about her once since we boarded the... Duchess Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bracken. Mm. What's in the doctor's bag? I have aspirin, antihistamine, seasickness pills, muscle relaxers, patches, diuretics. <laughs> and in case all that fails, a fifth of wild turkey. What, are you traveling with Elvis? <laughs> 
After the last time I was on a boat, I'm not taking any chances. I don't ever want to be that sick again. Oh, pretty bad, huh? I was feeding the fish over the starboard side from Long Island to Key Biscayne. <laughs> Yeah, it's David Cassidy. <laughs> you idiot! That's not David Cassidy. That, my friend, is Davy Jones. You sure that's not David Cassidy? You say that one more time, I'm gonna have to kill you. David Cassidy was a member of the Partridge family. Davy Jones was one of the monkeys. The Partridge family was a made-up band on TV. The monkeys was a real rock group. They played their own instruments eventually. <laughs> now, 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 do you see the difference? Well, I guess. God, I've loved Davy Jones since I was in the fourth grade, but I was from afar. <laughs> and now I'm a close. So, go talk to him. No, I couldn't do that. I don't know what I would say to him. Excuse me, but do you have the time, please? Ah, I love you! <laughs> she means that she's a, she's a big fan of yours. Who the hell asked you? What I mean is, I love you, Davy Jones. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. And what's your name? <laughs> Louise Spitzer. I'm your number one fan. So tell me, tell me, what are you doing on this cheesy cruise? <laughs> I'm here for a little R&R. &R. I've been on tour promoting my new album. You got a new album out? Is it available in stores? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, it was nice meeting you, but, uh, I've got to run. Oh, oh, before you go, could I just beg one favor? Certainly. Could I just get one small hug? Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, that'll be enough, I think. Uh, can I have a little help here? <laughs> Louise, you have to let go. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know what got into me. <laughs> Louise, Jay, give me a hand. Louise won't let go of this guy. Oh, oh got into her. <laughs> I can't help it. I love Davy Jones. <laughs> Davy Jones? Oh, hey. hey, Jay. Jay, put Mr. Jones down. Oh. Uh, I should have gone to Disneyland. Oh, Herman. I've had an epiphany. I'm going to lose my virginity to Davy Jones. <laughs> Louise, I thought you promised yourself you'd wait for marriage. Actually, I promised myself I'd wait for marriage or Davy Jones. <laughs> but the second part was so outrageous, I never brought it up. <laughs> Oh, Hermel, I'd like you to meet uh, Martha and Elizabeth. The, this is their first time on the... Uh... Duchess Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Now I'll never get her out of her mind. Hey, she's in my chair. Of course she's in your chair. She's taking over, just like in real life. I miss her. Well, go talk to her. She's right over there. Oh, it's not the same thing. She's just a memory. Everything in this brain is just a memory. See this tricycle? It's a memory. It's not real. See this baseball mitt? It's not real. <laughs> See the <this> sledgehammer? <laughs> well, you get the point. I need the real Elizabeth. I'm gonna call her. No, you're gonna have to go through me. You go ahead, Jay. I'll, uh, I'll meet you downstairs. Uh, yes, hello, operator. I'd like to make a ship-to-shore call. You were saying? Hi, this is Elizabeth. Steve and I aren't home right now. Please leave a message. Steve? Who the hell is Steve? Steve must be the guy she dumped us for. Could we have a little privacy? Oh, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I can't believe it. We have to leave our own brain. <laughs> I was thinking, we should have some kind of signal in case someone wants to bring someone back to the room and, you know, be alone. And don't worry, I won't be bringing anyone back to the room. Yeah, I was talking about me, Herm. Okay, if I do this, you know what to do. <laughs> Bunt? <laughs> no, you get lost. Jay, I came on this cruise for some peace and quiet. I don't want to have to leave my room. All right, whatever you do, don't just sit here and think about Elizabeth. Don't worry, she's the furthest thing from my mind. Will you forget about me? It's over. I'm with Steve now. Oh, this is terrible. Let it go. I'm sure whoever this Steve character is, he couldn't possibly compare to us. That was incredible, Steve. You know, up until now, I've had to fake it. <laughs> oh, ouch. 
Oh. And who is responsible for this neurotic hallucination? That's me. <laughs> well, you people are bringing me down. This is a cruise. We got the three B's here. Beer, babes, and food. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to that woman at the bar. I don't want to talk to the woman at the bar. Hi, Herman. Hi. Guess what? I was just out in Davy Jones's room. He's not at all what I expected. What'd you expect? I expected him to be awake. <laughs> if he was asleep, who let you into his room? I crawled in through the porthole. <laughs> I have this unique ability to fit into small spaces by dislocating my shoulder. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. <laughs> Louise, maybe you should leave the guy alone. Don't worry, Herman. I've opted for subtlety. <laughs> Herman! I just took my body weight in pharmaceuticals. I feel remarkably well. Well, I did it. I found the richest man on the boat. That's, that's great, Hetty. Look, I was just on my way over to the bar. Why don't you get your suitor and the four of us will have a drink together? Oh, I don't think Jonathan is old enough to drink. He's only 14. You're not gonna go out with him. Are you kidding? It's perfect. He's the son of a Texas oil baron. He's approaching a sexual peak, and I think the fresh air from this cruise will probably clear up that acne. <laughs> that sounds like a dream come true. I thought we were gonna talk to that woman at the bar. I can't do it. I can't stop thinking of Elizabeth with another guy. Oh, my God, look! That house is on fire, and... There's a kitten trapped inside! Oh, my God! <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bracken. Excuse me, can I buy you a drink? Beer, please. Elizabeth! Agent Mulder believes we are not alone. The X-Files, a new dramatic series coming to Fox. Lawrence Fishburne's a... You want to go one-on-one? -on -one? I want a rematch. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I'm on a cruise. Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> Where's Steve? Steve? Who's Steve? Steve, the guy you're living with, the guy on the answering machine? Oh, I just put that on my machine so people wouldn't think I lived alone. Well, it worked. <laughs> This is just great. I go all the way to the Bahamas to forget about you, and here you are. Oh, well, it's nice to see you, too. I can't believe this. So what are we going to do? Well, let's try to salvage what remains of a vacation and go our separate ways. Fine. I do for you, Herm. <laughs> Why are you dressed that way? We're playing Temple of Doom. Martha is wild. Look, I'd like to come in. She's not that wild. <laughs> Jay, I've had a really bad day, and I'd like to rest in my own room. I can't help you, Herm. Jay, it's my room, too. I gave you the signal. <laughs> I don't care about your stupid signal. Don't talk that way about the signal. The signal is sacred among men. You can't just violate the sanctity of the signal. All right, all right. How long are you gonna be? Well, I don't know, Herm. She was pretty close, but now this interruption. <laughs> Jay, Elizabeth is on this cruise. Oh, so you want to hide out in your room? Yeah, exactly. Herman, you don't have to hide from her. You came here to have a good time. Now go up there and meet women. I have got to go, man. Don't come back for an hour. Make that two. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm going to be fine, Louise. I just took some tranquilizers. You seem a little groggy. How many of those pills did you take? Somewhere in the neighborhood of a dozen. Maybe you ought to go down to the dining room and get something to eat. I'm not hungry. Excuse me. I'm going for a drive. Uh, uh, Mr. Bracken, stay away from the rail. Louise, I have lived in this house for 35 years. Walk up when you leave. Hi, Herman. Elizabeth is sitting right over there. Can you believe it? She's talking to another guy. No, Louise. I'm trying to ignore her. How can you ignore her? She's sitting right over there. 
Well, with your help. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, we'll, we'll talk about Davy Jones. Fine. I realized I was going about this the wrong way. I shouldn't have to go to him. He should have to come to me. <laughs> well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> hey, Davy Jones, wait up! What, are you in mourning? No, I'm hiding from the sun. It makes me wrinkle. Since when did you become so concerned about wrinkling? Since Jonathan called me ma'am. Ma'am, that's what I used to call my mother. I'm old. <laughs> hey, isn't that Elizabeth over there talking to another guy? God, that must be pretty humiliating. Yes, it is, Hetty. Thank you for mucking around in that open wound. Stop whining. Do something about it. Go over and talk to that other woman at the bar and make Elizabeth jealous. Hetty, that's not bad. With age comes wisdom. <laughs> Hi. Can I buy you a drink? No, that's okay. It'd mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to me if you didn't. Hey, it's free drink. Come on. How can you say no to a free drink? No. Well, that's one way. Look, that's my girlfriend over there. She's talking to a guy. I have to make her jealous. Can't you just work with me? This is so pathetic. I, think, I know. I know. Look, if you want to pretend that you're talking to me and buy me a drink, I'll sit here. How's that? Thank you, thank you. And if you feel like putting your hand on my shoe. Okay. Okay. I won't push it. Uh, hi. I'll have a Mai Tai and a strawberry daiquiri for my lady friend. I'd love to have dinner with you. Skinny dipping? You bet. As a matter of fact, I'm not wearing any underwear. Well, I've never tried it that way, but sure. I'm... Hey, watch it. No, you watch it. What the hell are you doing? I am having a conversation. Well, maybe she'd understand more of what you're saying if you put your tongue back in your mouth. Well, if you didn't throw your drink at me, maybe I'd have my tongue in her mouth. Oh. <laughs> so is that what you want? Some bubble-headed bimbo? You know, you really have a bad personality. Fine. Go with a bimbo. You'll be happy. Oh, that's right. I will. I really miss you. I miss you, too. Let's go to your room. We can't. They found a rat in my room. Let's go to your room. Okay, but Jay's in my room. I'll take my chances with the rat. Boy, that was a big rat. <laughs> Herman, is that Elizabeth? Because you're not going to forget about her this way. Always a pleasure. Man, I'm exhausted. Give me the signal. Yeah, I gotta rest, Herm. Things with Martha got a little out of hand. Can you get me some more ice? We want to be alone. It's not gonna happen, Herm. What about the sanctity of the signal? Well, that should tell you how much pain I am in if I have to violate the sanctity of the signal. <laughs> Fine, I'll get the ice myself. Ow, ow. I'll be right back. Oh, she feels so good. What are you doing? <laughs> Haven't you been listening to anything I've been saying? I'm sorry, what? I promise you, we are going to regret this tomorrow. I agree. This is about sex. It doesn't concern either one of you, so go sit in a corner. Well, can I at least watch? No. no. I'll think about Grandpa naked. Okay, you can watch, but don't say anything. I have one more thing to add. Yes, we have condoms. Peace. <laughs> Aren't you gonna run after me? I'm through chasing you, Davy Jones. Good. Are you sure you're not going to chase me? No! This is ridiculous! I made a complete fool out of myself over what? A childhood fixation. Don't get me wrong, I still think you're dreamy. <laughs> but I do have my dignity. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> well... Okay, be cool, don't blow it, don't blow it, don't blow it. Okay. I said okay! Hey, what are you, deaf, Davy Jones? Get over here and sit down! Well, the captain, I need warp speed now. Wow. 
are we getting back together with Elizabeth? Don't look at me. Ask her. I'm all for it. I'm not. I thought you were. I was, and I finished, and now I'm not. Figure it out. <laughs> look, a bit of her leg is showing. Wait a minute. Now I am again. There. It's all settled. We're back together. Okay, you want her back? Fine. Let's bring her back into our life. My God, this place is a mess. Yeah, well, we've had a lot in our mind lately. If you're trying to be clever, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Here's a recommended reading list. That should help. What do you have there? Nothing. <laughs> Let's watch the sugar intake, shall we? <laughs> and you. What are you always looking at me like that? You give me the willies with those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Nice having your back, isn't it? How do you feel? Mm, not so hot. Me either. I think it was the all-you-can-eat pork buffet. <laughs> I eat all I could eat. Oh, I didn't have the pork. I think it's us. Yep. Yeah. This isn't going to work, is it? I don't think so. I don't get it. We both love each other, so... Why doesn't this feel right? Maybe we don't love each other enough. Then why do we do this? Put off feeling badly for a while? Guess that's not a reason to get back together. I guess not. So, it's really over. What do you want to do now? You want to put off feeling badly for another hour and a half? <laughs> Guess what? I spent the whole night with Davy Jones. <laughs> we talked, he sang Daydream Believer, we danced in the moonlight, then he walked me to my room and he kissed me goodnight. You didn't sleep with him? Nope. When I look back on one of the most special nights of my life, I don't want to say I lost my virginity to a monkey. <laughs> I see your point. So was he upset? Well, naturally, but he went up to the Lido deck and last I heard he was with some blonde bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> David, you go on ahead, I'll catch up. Oh, I can't believe it, I've dated the guy from the Partridge family. <laughs> oh, time we landed, this is the longest flight I've ever been on. <laughs> Tomorrow, Forrest Whitaker and Anthony Edwards star in Downtown, a world broadcast premiere on Fox Night at the Movies. Now, stay tuned for Tribeca with guest star Lawrence Fishburne next. Inside Edition investigates airplane safety and the secrets that can save your life.